friends, Uncle Marv here with another episode of the IT Business Podcast, your show for IT business support, where we help managed service providers and IT professionals run their business better, smarter, and faster. This podcast is a compilation of thoughts and interviews from the recent App River Partner Day that was held at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino this past December 1st. This was an event put on by my account manager at OpenText, Josie Keck, and it was just simply a time for uh, Zix and OpenText to talk about recent changes to the partner program. Uh, There's also going to be an interview by Dan Myers, who is a fellow MSP here in Fort Lauderdale with some very interesting history, and then Scott Capella, a sales engineer at App River. Uh, as I mentioned, so this was an event that was kind of put together to talk about the recent changes. And of course, for those of you that have been with me for a while, know that I've been an App River partner for quite some time. And in 2019, things started to change. App River was acquired by Zix. And then in 2020, COVID hit. And in January 2021, my account rep left. You may remember her as Sunshine, and I had her on a podcast in 2020. Then OpenTech acquired Zits in December of 2021. So during that time, I, I was a little worried. I didn't know how things were going. Things seemed to be changing a bit, but things seemed to turn around a few months ago. While I was at the ASCII Miami event, I was on a panel with Josie. She was not my account manager at the time. But after that event, we started chatting, told her some of my concerns, and her boss, Jennifer Daddio, who lives here in Fort Lauderdale, and they got together and said, we've got to make some changes. So uh, Josie became my rep, and we started getting involved, and now all seems to be well in the world of Rap River. So this was a day that they invited some partners to come together and They were giving us the updates of how things are going, the roadmap, and changes that they're making in the partner program. It was a very interesting day. There was also a instructor instructor led training to prepare people for the MS nine hundred exam. That is a Microsoft certification that was all about the three sixty five fundamentals, basically uh, proving that you understood cloud concepts for Microsoft 365 services, security, compliance, privacy, and Microsoft 365 pricing and support. It was a full day of App River discussions and Microsoft trainings. Now, you're going to hear some ambiance with the interviews. We actually conducted these interviews in the exact same room as we had the meeting. There was about 20 of us there. So we did not have a separate space for the podcast. So we had to basically do the interview with people in the room, eating lunch or having breaks and things of that nature. So that's what you're hearing in terms of the audio. I did clean up it, clean it up as best I could. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. But right now, let's get to the interviews. Hello, friends. Uncle Marv here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but at a very special event. We are doing an in-person rock out with App River here at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino, where we are doing a partner meeting. And I have with me my new, my very special App River partner, Josie Keck. Josie, how are you? Hi, Uncle Marv. I'm doing well. How are you doing today? I am good. So tell me a little bit about what we're doing today. This seems to me to be a very new idea that App River and OpenText are rolling out. So what are we doing? It is. It's very, very, very new. This is our very first roadshow, what we like to say. Um, We are gathering here today to do some Microsoft training, but also uh, bring awareness of the products, what we're doing. Uh, App River has uh, been acquired by OpenText. 
And with OpenText, we have different products, we have different vision, we have we're growing, we're growing company. So we want to make sure that our partners are up to date to everything that is happening with us. And when you say a lot of products, we are talking, folks, a lot of products. So for those that do not know, the uh, acquisition happened at the what end of last year? End of last year, correct. 2021. And not only are we doing the typical email solutions, archiving solutions, there are now some additional security solutions, uh, archiving solutions, cloud backup. Cloud to cloud backup, endpoint backup, DNS protection, endpoint protection, security awareness training. And the benefit of having all the solutions in one place is that we have the one pane of glass, secure cloud, where our partners can deploy their solutions, manage, support, and there's one bill, one account manager, one support number to call. So that consolidation and one pane of glass to make you, you, you work less. And that is going to be a great thing for all of us. So all of these products now available under the open text umbrella. But for those of you that have known me over the years, App River has been my distributor of choice because of the way that they have allowed for partnerships to happen. I can resell. I can refer. They also provide not only phenomenal customer support, but they provide partner training. And there's been a lot of new things added where you guys are helping us to get certifications like the Microsoft MS-900 that we're doing today, right? Correct. So everybody attending today will get, uh, they're being trained to take the test, but they're also getting the voucher, you know, to take the test when they're ready to, to do it. All right. And saving us money. Yes, Sweet. absolutely. All right. So, Josie, now you're not from Fort Lauderdale, but you do reside, you're in Florida still, right? I am. I'm in the Tampa Bay area. Tampa Bay on the West Coast. Yes, on the West Coast, correct. Yeah. How are you yes. liking the East Coast today? Uh, I like it. It's yeah. been nice and nice. People are nice. We're having fun here at the Hard Rock ca- Casino, yes. <laughs> We're doing the Hard Rock Cafe. Yes, yeah, so this is the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> this is, this rock. is like the Seminole Hard Rock Tire and Care Center. You, yes. know? you can do everything here. There's yeah. a hotel. We're at the Guitar Hotel. So if any of you have uh, ventured down to Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood area, and you're driving, you can literally see the guitar from almost every location. It's a beautiful, beautiful it is. facility. It yes. is fantastic what they have done here. And this is, I mean, it's been probably 15 years in the making, but they keep adding to it. It is a fantastic I'm going to say luxury resort because mm-hmm. you could come here and spend days. Great service too. Everybody has been so nice, you know, put in this event for us here too. So we're very happy, very excited. We'll be back. You'll be back. All right. All right, folks. Uh, Uncle Marv here and recording from the Seminole Hard Rock Casino in Hollywood, Florida, just miles from my house. I am at the App River Open Text Microsoft Training for Microsoft 365, and we're having a little partner meeting and meeting some people here. And interestingly enough, I have met somebody that we we have a common history that we did not know about. Uh, Dan Myers from Computer Business Solutions. Uh, Dan, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for coming out. Uh, not that I'm hosting, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're all here at the... The partner training. How long have you guys been partnering with App River? Uh, it's been about eight years now. Eight years, we, you know, okay. Gone back to when they were originally just App River, not owned by any of the other companies. Okay. And what what is the the bulk of the products that you use from them? Uh, started out with hosted exchange products. I've, I've since moved to the office buying Office three sixty five from them, encryption. Uh, cloud uh, backup. So actually backing up Office three sixty five, the cloud to cloud backup. Okay, um, so yeah, we, the, quite a few of the you know um, archiving services, anything related to the email and email security is is what we looked at River for. All right, sweet. Anything new that you learned here today? Um, no, well, Josie and I, which is our um, our representative from App River, is our salesperson. She and I communicate often. Um, she she keeps me pretty up to date on the products that are out there. We tend to sometimes be a little bit of a her, her beta test environment. Yep, you are. I've heard that. Uh, she wanted me to be in that group, and I said, no, I don't want to be the guinea. Right. <laughs> but uh, you guys have done a, a good job uh, from what I've heard earlier. You've also beat her up on pricing. Yes. That's, well, that which, comes back and forth with it, right? <laughs> which can be done. So uh, congrats on all of that. 
Now, I do want to let the listeners know that it was quite interesting when she told me that you were going to be the the partner I would interview because we have a common history. Yes. We did not know that. So for most of my listeners that have been with me a while, they know that I started my business as a result of my boss uh, not wanting to do some things that I wanted to do. And I said, well, I'll do it on my own. And he said, nah, you'll be back in a year. Well, I'm starting year number 26 (laughs) from him. But you also know my previous owner uh, back from the days of American Computer Traders. Oh, yes, indeed. So uh, I started actually as an employee there, um, you know, about probably about four years after you left. Okay. And um, and experienced the same that we did in that, t- in that company. It was a stepping stone, a first level kind yep. of entry, entry point into that business. Um, the, the Computer Business Solutions does share a history with American Computer Traders. The, the core of the business did uh, evolve from that All right. in particular. Yep. Now, when I was there, we had the store up front yep. and the service department was in the back. I can't describe the building enough for listeners to understand, but it was like an <laughs> L-shaped building that was commercial on the bottom and residential on the top. Yes. And at the time, we had three bays in the back Yes. where we okay. had the service department, inventory, and all the stuff that he would gather for our... Saturday garage sales. I was about to bring up, were you there during that goes garage sales? <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Did you guys continue those? We did not. No? Uh, I was not there during that time, but I've heard many stories about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And so, yeah, so the history there, uh, you started after me and then uh, morphed into the computer business solutions. I also found out that we're actually on the same street. Really? Oh, yes, that's right. On, uh, but, you know, miles apart. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, very interesting there. So how is business going? Business is, is, is go- has been going well for us. We've seen, um, you know, specifically in the last year or so, um, a lot of customers being purchased by other ah, customers. Yes. So we've had a little bit more uh, churn in our customer base, you know, not because we've lost anybody, but because of larger venture capitalists bringing, you know, buying our smaller businesses and doing that. Right, right. So, you know, our, our focus for this year and, and going forward for a long time has been new customers, marketing for, for our company. So, All right. Yeah. Well, Dan, uh, I want to thank you. We're, we're in the middle of a break here, so yeah. we don't have a lot of time. I'm going to have to get you guys back on for a full podcast. Sure, absolutely. And we can share more stories. And All right. Thanks very much for having Talk about us. Oakland Park. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thanks. folks, we'll be back to, uh, with more from the App River Microsoft Partner Meeting in S- Seminole Hard Rock Casino. Later. Hello again, friends. Uncle Marv here, and I have joining me next... Scott Capella, sales engineer at App River. And if you need technical knowledge, if you need assistance in setting stuff up or just bouncing off some ideas, uh, Josie will probably get you in touch with just this guy. And uh, he's here today helping out at the uh, Rock Out with App River event. Uh, Scott, how are you finding things today? I'm doing well. Uh, finding them very well, thank you. But right. yeah, it's uh, very uh, interesting to come here. It's a great, great campus. We're really enjoying ourselves. Like Josie was saying, the service was great. Yep. The customers here, the, the partners, they're just very intelligent. They're very, you know, they just want to come here and they want to learn. And it's just, and they're interacting here, learning from each other. It's yeah. really, it's really great. It's like we're, we're managing relationships. With so our it's partners. been interesting from my perspective, sitting and watching you, mm-hmm. as you guys are trying to impart knowledge to us. They're asking you questions that you're kind of like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And, and, you know, they've done their homework. Yeah. And, and, you know, the questions that they asked, they were tough questions, but, you know, they're security aware. And that's why we're here today, because our portfolio expands to what their needs are. Everybody you know, has the ability to work from home now, and it's our job to protect them. The yeah. threat landscape is huge now. And ever since the pandemic, you know, there are just so many different types of threats out there that we have to protect you from. In App River and Zix, we can protect you from, we can protect your mail, we can back up your data, you know, we can give you, archive your data to keep you compliant. So it's really, we meet a lot of, we check a lot of those boxes for your security umbrella. Yeah. Now, now that you mentioned security, that's kind of been a focus here recently uh, as App River has kind of embraced some of the other products that OpenText has brought. Um, so what's being done now to enhance our security in more of a global platform rather than just email? Yeah, I, so we've started with email and then 
the threats, they've evolved. So we're protecting attachments. We're protecting your links. We're, we're protecting just the threats are evolving. So our technology portfolio is evolving. So we can do back up your data. So, you know, if, if you need to back up your applications, we can do that as well. So we, you know, we've really expanded our portfolio to meet the needs of our customers. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, looks like we're going to run out of time because we <laughs> because have to up, the break. But no, but thank you for those questions, Uncle Marv. But, all right, back to you. All right, we'll finish up here in a little bit. Well, as you can see, that was obviously a short segment, and mainly it was because the instructor started his session and did not let us know. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we were in the same room with the main group, so we couldn't just keep on going as the instruction started. So that was that, and basically I had to leave early. Um, I did not stay for the entire event, so the interviews were short. We did not get to do everything that we wanted to do, and I have spoken with people about getting them to come back on the show for another podcast later, so hopefully that will happen. As for the day itself, well, I was presently surprised with the roadmap that OpenText laid out. They took some serious questions from the attendees. Didn't get heated, but it was very spirited. And I think that it was well-received on both sides, uh, the App River folks, the attendees, especially with how they talked about intending to keep us happy as customers and partners. So I'm going to leave you real quick with one last comment that I asked Josie about in terms of the one thing that she wanted everyone to walk away from from the day. All right, folks, uh, we are about ready to wrap up here. So, Josie, I want to end with you on just this last question. What is it that you're hoping that partners and non-partners alike uh, get to understand about the new App River as it relates to the open text? I want the partners to understand that even though we have grown a much larger company, we're still a a channel focused company, partner first company, and we are not a vendor. We are not a vendor to our partners. We are a partnership. When I talk to you, I am part of your sales team. My engineers are part of your engineering team. My support team is your support team. So we're not just selling you products. We are in a true partnership, and that's what I want everybody to you know, to take away from this meeting. All right. Well, Josie, you have been fantastic in the few months that I've had you as my I don't, I don't even know what I call you. Sales associate, my partner, my exec. What, what, what's the official title? Um, I'm a, a channel account manager, but you can call your partner. We're uh, partners. It's, it's partner sounds better. Yes. All right, Josie. Well, thank you very much for uh, hanging out here today and letting me interview you. And uh, we'll get back to the rest of the, the show here today. Well, we're actually going to be wrapping up for a nice little happy hour. So. We have some happy hours, some fun stuff too. Yes. All right, folks, that's going to do it from here at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino. Next time I have an event and I tell you about it, get yourselves over here and enjoy some fun. Meet my friend, Josie Keck, at App River Open Text. All right, well, that is going to do it for this show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with a new live show next Wednesday. Joining me on that show will be Diana Giles from Skyline Management and Kristen Pittman from Solutions where we'll be talking about partnerships, especially how they relate to you as an MSP, partnering with someone else to get business, maintain business, and do better at your business. So we'll see you soon. And until then, holla. <laughs>